the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus went up to the mountain to pray, and he spent the night in prayer to God. When they came, he called his disciples to himself, and from them he chose twelve, whom he also named apostles, Simon, whom he named Peter, and his brother Andrew, James, John, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Thomas, James, the son of Alphaeus, Simon, the who was called a zealot, and Judas, the son of James, and Judas Iscariot, who became a traitor. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We all know the saying, tell me who your friends are, and I will tell you who you are. And it is true. But in today's context, tell me who your candidates are, and I will tell you who you are. It's good to know. Good to know. I'm not speaking against your candidate. I don't speak against your candidate. I'm speaking to you. So stop depending your candidate. Because it's good to know also, if your candidate will go to heaven, will you go with him? But if your candidate will go to hell, will you accompany him? What is your stand? What is your stand? Yesterday, the gospel speaks of a few number who will enter the kingdom of heaven. Ko konti lang ba makakapasok? Hindi yun ang mahalaga. Ang mahalaga ay ikaw ba'y makakapasok? Ikaw ba'y makakapasok? Ang sinusuri natin ay ating mga sarili. Kaya nga palagi kong sinasabi yan, you don't compare yourselves with other people. Because God has created you for a purpose and has given you the gifts. He has given you the opportunities. He has given you the resources that other people may not have. So do not expect them to be like you or you like them. Sabi nga ng tatay do sa anak, Pedro, ba't hindi ka sumama kay, tumulad kay Juan? Mabuti, mabait, matalino, masipag. Sabi ni Pedro, sino po si Juan? Yung, yung anak ni Bartolome. Ano sabi ni Pedro? Ba't niyo ko kinukumpara ni kay Juan? Hindi naman kay si Bartolome. Kahit yung mga magulang, pinipilit nilang ikumpara ang kalilang mga anak sa anak ng may anak. Bakit? Yung anak nyo ba pinalaki na katulad ng pagpapalaki ng ibang magulang? Suriin ninyo ang inyong mga pagkatao. Suriin ninyo sapagkat tayo ay huhusgahan ng Diyos ayon sa ating mga kakanyanan, kakanyahan. Kaya nga, yung ating mga pagdidesisyon, yung ating mga pananaw, yung ating paninindigan, atin yun. Dapat atin. Dapat atin. Mahirap yung naninindigam ka para sa ibang tao. Tapos sa huli, hindi mo naman mapapanghawakan. Inuulit ko, suriin mo ang iyong sarili. Sapagkat sa unang pagbasa, what is the first reading trying to tell us? When God created you, He already set a foundation for you. Pag sinabing pundasyon, hindi lang yung iyong kinatutungtungan, kundi yung paghuhubog ng iyong pagkatao. Paghuhubog ng iyong pagkatao. 
mga minamahal na mga kapatid. Mahirap yung hinubog ka sa ganitong pag-iisip. Pero hindi yan ang uri ng ngayong pamumuhay. Hindi ang uri ng ngayong pamumuhay. By mere looking at the handwriting of women, pagkamisan alam mo saan graduate itong babaeng ito. By mere looking, ah, graduate ito ng assumption. Ah, graduate ito ng ganito. Bakit? Kasi kahit yung school, hinubog sila kung paano sila isusulat ang mga letra. They were even formed on how to write. Alam mo, the more the way they are supposed to think so that they will be able to live a kind of life they are being formed. But the first reading, we are being formed according to the foundation of the apostles. Ang problema, hindi mo inalam. Hindi mo inalam. What is the basic foundation? You review your apostles' creed. Yan dapat ang iyong pananaw. Yan dapat ang iyong adhikain sa buhay. Ikaw lang makakaalam. At sabi ko nga sa iyo, you let go of the reputations. Stop simply trying good reputations. Develop a good character. Because reputations are mere impressions that you have created in front of people. Nung ikaw ay tinawag ng Diyos, you look, your, you, you, you look at yourselves according to the gospel, God even prayed for you. God even prayed for you. But even though you look at this, that I always been saying this, even though you are among the apostles, God will not intervene and perhaps step on your freedom. Sayang naman na isama ka sa labing dalawang matanyag na pangalan, pero ang naidagdag sa pangalan mo ang nagkanulo kay Jesus. Tulad na sinasabi ko palagi, may mga bagay na pwedeng patawarin, pero kahit kailan, hindi pwedeng limutin. Huwag niyong kakalimutan yan. May mga bagay na pwedeng patawarin, pero kahit kailan, hindi pwedeng limutin. Habang ang tao ay nagbabasa ng Biblia, at tuwing maririnig mo ang pangalan ni Judas Iscariote, kaakibat nito, ang taong nagkanulo sa Diyos. Every time you hear the names of Judas Iscariot, you can always find the words, the one who betrayed Jesus. What do you want to be remembered when your names are mentioned? You ask yourself, again, again, I am not talking about your candidates. But it is also true. Tell me who your candidates are and I will tell you who you are. Again, to remind you, we have posted the prayers or the family prayer for our departed, both in Tagalog or in English. So you can gather as a family not necessary in the seminary, in your chat group, in your Zoom, and pray together as a family. Just select a, lead, a leader among yourselves. Going back to what I've said, <clears throat> my brothers and sisters, you were created and being put in a foundation so that you will it will rule your life and be able to live your life pleasing to God. Do not forget this. Do not forget this. In the way you choose your cabinet or your candidate, it speaks who you are. Tell me who your candidates are and I will tell you who you are. 
the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go now in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.